turning to the Stone Canyon fire burning near Lyons. This community has been ravaged over the years, but tonight there's a little glimmer of hope as firefighters gain 30% containment and some closures and evacuations are lifted. Still, we know the fight is not over. Your reporter Gabriella Vidal joins us live from there tonight. And Gabby, it's been a tough week for that community. Yeah, that's right, Karen. Like you said, this community here in Lyons has dealt with a number of disasters over the years, and now they're learning that at least one person has been confirmed dead because of these fires, and many structures were taken because of these fires. But as the community grapples with some of these losses, they're also stepping up and rallying around people who need it most. We've been here for three days. A grueling three days for firefighters like Caleb Landry, who came up from Sedalia to help tackle the ongoing Stone Canyon fire. We hate to see fires go like this, but it lets us do our job. It lets us, you know, do what we train for. So there's 225-ish in our tiny little town of 2,200 people. Lions Mayor Holly Rogan says it's why they've prioritized creating a space for these firefighters to rest at Laverne Johnson Park and even inside their town hall. Having, you know, a dark air-conditioned place to sleep and they've got cots and blankets and stuff, that's been huge, you know, because getting good rest is really, really important to what we're doing. Landry says it's hospitality like this that's become a game changer in the fight to protect homes and people from the flames. It makes you feel welcome, you know, because we're not, you know, we're not from here. This isn't our town. Obviously, it's a stressful situation because things are on fire, homes are being lost. A welcoming spirit. This is a chance again for our community to rally and do something. Even businesses like Craig Engelhorn's distillery, Spirit Hound, are displaying. Despite knowing they could have lost everything. The fire was right over here and the wind was blowing this way and there was a real concern that the fire would just blow right through here. While they continue to rally behind the first responders working to contain the fire, they also plan to fundraise for those who've lost their homes. We've got really good friends whose house literally is gone. I mean, it's at, it's to the ground, gone. While we do know that this fire has reached more than 1,500 acres, the good news tonight, like we said, is that it is 30% contained as of right now. In Lyons, Gabriella Vidal covering Call It A First. All right, Gabby, thank you.